including images in your application. When you first start and run your application, you may find it looks a little bit bland without any images. One way to enhance your templates is to make images available for insertion. So first, we need to add a new image to our environment. We can do this by going to Share Components and adding an image under the Files Images to our Apex repository. This means the image will be loaded into the database as opposed to being located in the file system under the Images folder. So here we'll create a new image. I won't associate a particular application, but I'll choose my Grassroots Oracle logo and upload that to the Apex repository. Now we can go back to Share Components and edit the definition of our application so we can start to add a logo. Under the User Interface tab, there is a section on Logo, which at the moment is just Pack. So we want to change that to an image. And we can use the Workspace Images Substitution String. So this is surrounded by a hash, and this will substitute the path necessary to resolve that image that we've just loaded in. So I can type that file name here and it will resolve that for me. This is as opposed to using the image prefix which points to the file system and we'll look at that later on. So I'll apply those changes and run the application and we can now see our image, which is quite large, displayed in our application. So if we wanted to modify that, we can go back to edit our application properties under user interface and we'll add some attributes to that image such as changing the height to be 70 pixels and I'll apply those changes run the application and now we can see the same image in a more reasonable size we can check out the end result by looking at the source code that's been generated for that page and if I search for the file name we can see that it's taken the workspace images substitution string and substituted it with this package procedure file name, passing through the workspace ID and the file name to be rendered. And that is what enables Apex to pull the image out of the database and display it on our page. Next, we'll utilize our own CSS file and we'll do that using the images folder.